Hey, welcome to Teach Me Software. So today I'm going to show you how to print from a database in the uh, the Brother P-Touch editor. This is one that goes to, uh, my particular printer is a PTD600, which is a PC connectable label printer. And there's an issue with, you need to print multiple labels. And the example I'm going to have is we're gonna, we need to print labels for like five or six different names. And if you print them one at a time, it always prints a little extra piece of of uh, tape before each label. Like if you print them one, it'll print a little extra piece out, cut it off, print the label, print an extra piece off, cut the label. But if you run them continuously, like an example, say if you need to make five labels all the same, you can just hit five and it will cut each label directly without that little extra piece of tape that's wasted. What if you print from a database, you can print different labels all at the same time and you won't have that extra piece cut in there. So we're gonna get started. Uh, first of all, we need to go in and we need to create a database. So we're going to come in here and just, you could use Excel, any kind of database software. And I've just got some random names over here. So we're going to make a header first and we're going to say name. And then we're going to say date of hire. Of hire. We're just pretending these are going to be labels for a file cabinet in a personnel department. So the, the layout of this is not really important. It's just the information that's in there. So I'm going to go ahead and copy these names that I came up with. We'll just copy them and paste them in there. And you can do this with, with a header or without a header, and I'll show you where that comes into play, but it's easier just so you know what your database is. So let's just say uh, 2124. We'll say that one was hired the same date. We'll say these two were hired on uh, 3 5 24. And then these were hired for, sorry, 4 1 24. We'll say all three of these were hired 4 1 24. Okay, so there's our database. Let me just copy this one in there. I don't know what I did wrong there. Copy that one in there. Okay, so formatting, nothing really matters on this, okay? So all you really need is you just have your database made. We'll go ahead and delete these names out of here. I don't think that will affect anything, but it might. So now we have a database, and we can go ahead and we'll just center this and bold it so we know that's a header. So we're going to print out, we want to print out one, two, three, four, five, six, seven labels with these names and with these hire dates on them. So it's going to be a two row label. So we're going to take this and first of all, we need to save this as a database. So you're just going to come in and you go and file and save as and save it on your computer. And I have a P-Touch and I made this folder. So I have a P-Touch databases and we'll call this uh date of hire well that, that'll be good enough just something so we know what it is so i'm going to save this into my and it doesn't matter where your database is just make a folder and save it as long as you know where it is to go in and find your databases so now we have our database saved so now we come in here into the p-touch editor and there's a lot of different ways mine opens default this way but you just want to get to a new layout and i'm going to show you two different things see this little thing right here this connect database so if you come in here and if that's already clicked and then you double click a new layout, it's going to ask you what database you want to open. Okay, we're not going to do that yet. I'm going to show you the alternate here. So we go back up here and hit file and close. I don't know why I didn't close both of those. So if you come back up here and if you don't have that checked and you open up new layout, it doesn't give you that option, but then you can come up here and hit file, database, connect, and it brings you that same thing. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and select our database now. So just browse, if it mine opens up to it, well, it didn't actually open up to it right away. Uh, so we'll go back to P-Touch databases, and we're gonna go to our date of hire database. We're gonna open that up, and right here where it says header row contains field names. So that was, if we go back and look at our database, this is our header row and it has field names. 
if you didn't have this, if your name was at the top and you didn't have a, any titles across the top or no headers, then you wouldn't need to click that. But we do have them, so we want to click that. So header, and, and basically what it's going to do, it's going to ignore the first row. So go ahead and hit Next, and that's going to import our database. So there's our database right down there. All these names, all these dates. Okay, so now the next thing you need to do is you need to lay your label out. So I've got my label is uh, it's a .47 label, which is what I have in my machine. It's a .47 wide. And I'm going to go ahead and I've got it. You can change the length of your label. You just go up here. So you can make your label long, short, whatever you need to do. So you can go ahead and we'll just go ahead and leave it at 1.7. That'll be fine. So what you want to do is you want to come down here on your database section. And you can't drag. You try and drag one name up individually, it will not work. But if you highlight the category, so a highlighted name, I just clicked on it, it highlights it. And then you drag it up here to your label. And then it either asks you want a text or a barcode for it. So we're just doing text here. So that brings up Peter Jones's name. Okay. So we want to get it pretty close to where. So we're going to drag it to line up on our label because we want to center everything. So we're going to drag this over to where it matches this line. So you just drag it over. Don't worry about the where it is up and down, just left and right. And then you can take this and drag it out to that width too. Okay. So then we want to add, well, let's go ahead and, and format this. Well, let's go ahead and drag them both up here. Okay. We'll get our data higher. So you click that one. And you come back up, and then you click text again. And then we'll drag this one, do the same thing. Drag it to the left. It's already lined up to the right. Okay, so now we have uh, both of our rows on here. So all you want to do is you want to take Peter Jones and just click on that one. And right here is going to be your line text to center. So that's going to center his name. And then we're going to center that one. And we want to make the date a little bit smaller. We don't need the date as big because it's not as important of information as what we need on our label. So it doesn't really matter. So we're going to do that. And then once you have this up, it's set up. So now you can come in here and you can just click on each one individually. So there's the Donna Smith one. The formatting stays the same. The centering stays the same. And if you look at the dates, the names all change as we click each individual one. Okay, so I have the printer set up now. And I have everything ready to go here. So you have two options. You can print from here, right here. But I don't think when you click that, when you're doing from a database, it doesn't give you the option to print the entire thing. So the safest bet to do is just go up here and hit File and Print. And then you look right here, you have Current Record or All Records. So we're going to select All Records, and that will print all of the names that we got right down here. So go ahead and hit Print. So this is what I'm talking about, this little piece it cuts off before each label. If you print these individually, it's going to print and cut off that little piece of every single label that you make. And over a lot of labels, that's a lot of waste of this tape. And this tape's pretty expensive. So I do have, I'm going to put a link in the bottom too. I buy aftermarket. It's not brother brand uh, for the tape that goes in this machine. And I've been using it for years and it works great. And it's a whole lot cheaper. So I'll put a link to that down in the description. And if you don't have one of these printers, I mean, if you watching this video you probably already have one but if not then I'll put a link to the printer that I have here too I love this thing so there we go so there's all of our labels individually it did not print only printed one of these at the beginning of the label and it took me a while to figure this out but it's a it's a big cost saver not having to print this out plus it's quicker too so anyway pretty simple you can set up databases any way you want anyway I appreciate you watching Please like, please subscribe, please share my videos. Thank you.